Hi everyone, this is Dimitri Pragmatic with MarketChameleon.com. When you're trading options or even stock, one of the important things to look at is volatility. You want to see where's volatility in the stock trending and where it's been historically and how what how does today's volatility compare to um, its historical volatility. And volatility, there's no one way to measure volatility and there's no one correct way to measure it. There are different methods you could use. So I'm going to take a look at a couple of volatility charts here to see um, how we could compare different volatility metrics. And this is an SPY and this is a one year chart. And the two lines that I'm looking at right now are one is using close to close prices. The other one uh, is using the open high low close prices. So the close to close prices looks at um, the log returns from one day to the next gets the then it goes in there and, and takes the volatility and here we have a 20-day moving average volatility of close to close this open high low close it takes into account uh, not just the close to close prices but also the the open price the high price of the day and the low price of the day to get a, a volatility metric so this way you could kind of compare um the volatility if you're just using close to close prices or open high low uh prices which kind of compensates if there's a very high intraday volatility. Now, another thing that you might want to look at is how does the volatility look like from open to close, right? So um, how does the volatility during the day drift? You know, so there might be a lot of gap moves and then after it opens, the stock may sit there or it could be the other way around where most of the volatility is in the intraday and there's very little volatility um, from the previous day's close to the open. So here's an open to close. And let me just remove this one so you could see here in the yellow line that the close to close volatility, it tends to be a little bit higher. And you see here is the spread than the, um, than the volatility uh, after it opens and the drift from the opening to the close. Another uh, volatility metric we could look at is from the previous days close to the next day's open and this measures the gap right the how much did the stock move um from its closing price to the next day's opening price or their big gap moves uh in between so let's just look at the close to open here i'm going to take um well let's leave these for now so you could see now i'm comparing three different volatility metrics and you could see here that um over here, there's a wide gap between the intraday volatility and the day and the um, volatility from the previous days close to the open. And now, what we're seeing is they're kind of converging here, where you know a lot of the volatility um, that you see is is really you know from the previous days close to the open. So here's that's where the uh, green and yellow lines converge. And of course, if you're trading gamma or you own options you really want big opening gap moves right because then then you know you the the move from one day to the next is very it's very big it's not intraday and then you come in the the, the stock move and that's much better for your options because you could just rehedge them right after right after a gap move um so that's a couple different volatility metrics to look at and plot against each other in a graph to see what's been going on and here obviously we also see that the volatility has been coming in so you see in SPY it's um, over here in August it's been higher and it's been trending lower you know we had to look a little bit of an uptick here and then it's been trending lower as the market has been increasing so um, that's one way to look at volatility graphs and kind of help you out to see to assess what's going on with the volatility in a specific stock. Thanks everyone for watching. See you next video.